Well, I'm back for part two, bitches, for this time talking about movies and Blu-rays and s stuff. First of all, I got this TV show, The Lighthouse, Volume 2, Season 1. It gets louder, and believe me, <laughs> this show is just crazy and adorable. I, I I like this show quite a bit. It's, it's a fun show. I wish it was Blu-ray, though. And... A bunch of Blu-rays I got are a mixture of what well, I bought at the flea market and Walmart and most of it's from Amazon. I got this movie really Changing Bang Bang, which is a classic family film. Believe it or not, there's, 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 it's based on a book written by the author of the James Bond film. James Bond series. No kidding. Ian Fleming wrote the book of this movie. And... He created James Bond. That's, that's some crazy stuff. I got the movie Overboard, which it's just got re like re about to, about to be released. This is the old one with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. The Hateful Eight, which is a West another Western movie done by the legendary Quentin Tarantino, and I can't recommend. I haven't seen it, but it looks awesome. Especially that super wide screen he did. I got the director's cut of a movie, Daredevil, which... I heard a theatrical film had problems, but I heard the director's cut's much better. And plus, it's got all the extras from the DVD release. So that's pretty sweet. Now I got Daddy's Home 1 and 2. These... These are both comedy films that's... Got Will Ferrell and and uh, Mark Wahlberg and and Daddy Tom too. Sequel's got their dads. It's John Lithgow and Mel Gibson. <laughs> That's some crazy stuff. I haven't seen any of those movies, but they look funny as hell, and I, I can't wait to look at watch them today. I got Kill Bill two movie set volumes one and two. Which, these movies are awesome. I, I can't recommend them enough. I got Bad Moms and Bad Moms Christmas. Like I said, I haven't seen any of these movies, but I plan to today. Especially since this, one, this one's Christmas themed, and that's pretty awesome. Also, Susan Sarandon, go fuck yourself for being a Trump supporter. I got this old classic movie, 20 Million Miles to the Earth. This is, comes in both black and white and in color. And it's got a load of extras. And I'm glad I got this version because as, as I realized, it's discontinued. But I'm glad I get this version. I got that movie, Miss... Ah, hell. The movie's up to fall. I got that movie, Mr. Mom. A classic comedy film that's... It's a Shop Factory release, so it's about to be pretty good. I got two box sets. First of which is Leprechaun, the complete movie collection. It's even got that ridiculous remake or reboot, Leprechaun Origins of Storms, Hornswoggle, that little dwarf from WWE Wrestling, and it's, it makes sense because that movie was produced by WWE Studios. It's just awkward. All these films got extras, which I'm really impressed, considering each disc, with the exception of the fourth disc, which is Leprechaun Origins, each disc has got two movies on one disc. And who can resist record, uh, Leprechaun the Hood and, and Leprechaun Back to the Hood? <laughs> these are just corny films, but I just gotta get no guy on this. I got to meet the parents, the whole fucker collection, and... I haven't seen Meet the Little Fockers yet, but I've seen Meet the Parents and Meet the Fockers. I will watch the third movie someday, and I've just got to own this box set, this three disc set. I just got this today, as of this recording, The Lone Ranger. It's controversial because they whitewashed uh, Johnny Depp. Well, not whitewashed Johnny Depp, but he plays Tonto, and I gotta say, he looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Don't fuck with Tonto. And I got the Waterboy 
on Blu-ray. It's the old Alan Center flick. Now I'm glad to have that. Let's see. Now on to some an animated stuff. I got that movie Ferdinand, which my great niece and my niece saw. And they both love that movie very much. And I just, it's just, a, I heard it looks like it's a good movie. That's John Cena as the bull Ferdinand. I got Cars 3, which a lot of people say it's a lot better than the second one. Which is saying something because a lot of people did not like the second one at all. I particularly didn't mind it. It's just, they overused freaking Mater Man. And this really looks like it redeems the franchise. I get to watch it, but I'll, I'll give my full opinion. I got this old classic Disney film, Tangled, which is stars in another print Disney princess, Rapunzel, who is freaking. She looks freaking adorable, honestly. Especially since since she's voiced by Mandy Moore. She's another adorable actress and former singer. This is. I got this amazing. Pixar movie Coco, which I heard is amazing. It dominated the awards ceremony, the awards shows this past year. I got Rio 1 and 2 movie collection. I wanted to get, uh, even though I already owned the first Rio movie, I gave that copy to my cousin because she never had it. This one I wanted to get because they had a sequel, Rio 2, which I never owned before. It was cool to have. Two movies in one set. That's pretty sweet. I got this movie, Pirates, The Band of Misfits. It's a Ardman movie directed by a dude named Peter Lord who worked on Wallace and Gromit and stuff. And it's got Hugh Grant as the main character. Aladdin, I got this today. This is a classic. Yeah, I got to say as of this recording. The, 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 this this movie is just amazing. I love it. Another Disney film I got as of today at the flea market is I got that at the at flea market along with Lone Ranger. Is this movie Lady and Tramp? And I gotta say, this movie still holds up as one of the best films ever made. I love this movie. I it, this movie impacted my childhood in the best way possible. I love it. I got... Last but not least, it's two Batman anime films. This is an anthology film right here called Batman Gotham Knights. Which I literally just got today from Amazon. Because my it was supposed to come yesterday. But uh, it, got, it got... There was a day delay in the shipping or something. But I'm so glad I got this. Better late than ever though. It's an anthology film that's done by... Other anime film, anime filmmakers, it just looks sweet. And I got this badass movie called Batman Ninja. I wanted to get this version because this still book cover just looks amazing. And if you remove the discs from the inside, it's got an image of Batman right there. That just looks so damn sweet. That's all the movies I got this month. I, I, I don't know it's a shit ton, I know, but still. I just got to own these. Till next time, bitches. Stay gold. Bye-bye.